Hey guys, Spider Games here. I hope you enjoyed the zombie kill of the week, but there's a couple things I need to talk to you about, so let's get straight to business. In the background, I'm opening up premium dockets. They give you gold weapons every time, but I want to show you guys what weapons you get with what level, what survival level anyways. Right here, I'm survival level three, and I'm gonna be going through every survival level to show you guys what weapons you get with uh, what level. And that is very necessary because there is a wide variety of you know favorite weapons out there people love certain weapons and i want to be able to show you guys what weapons you get with what level hopefully i find them all even though i open up at least a hundred of these dockets per level i still don't get them all but that's in the later levels right now i just open up a few for the early levels because i keep getting the same weapons over again like the monkey wrench and let's see the claw hammer i keep getting those weapons over and over again but anyways there's a couple things i want to talk to you about first thing i want to talk to you about is outlast 2 it's coming out in less than a week and i'm gonna be playing that shit i've been talking about it for over a year probably i don't know ever since they announced that the game was being made i said i'm gonna be playing that shit now as i'm playing it i'm gonna be posting videos i'm not gonna be live streaming so i'm not gonna be making you know three hour four hour videos or live streams that you have to watch and go through i'm gonna be posting 30 to 40 minute videos instead now that means this series is gonna be maybe 20 videos long maybe i don't know horror games seem to be pretty short usually but that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop Dying Light. Now there's a bunch of stuff I need to do for Dying Light still, a bunch of tutorials that I wanna make because you know, Dying Light, it's over. They're not gonna be putting or adding much to it. They're not gonna be patching a lot. You know, this is pretty much what we get. So I can go ahead and make as many tutorial videos as I need to, you know, on glitches especially, like the duplication glitches, how to reach max, uh, legend level 250 how to reach survival level you know max survival level to uh, 25 not 250 but 25 and uh, other videos you know and I'm gonna be posting them in between the outlast videos um, that way you guys are happy and if you like my gameplay videos for Dying Light, I hope you give Outlast a chance because if you enjoy my gameplay videos, that means you somehow enjoy me in some way, right? So you should enjoy the Outlast gameplay videos. I may post tutorials on it, I'm not sure. Probably not, but you never know. Now, Dying Light, when it comes to the tutorials, I deleted a lot of tutorials, probably 30 videos worth of tutorials, just because they were outdated and patched. Now, that was a big mistake by me, because I actually deleted them all at the same time, because I sometimes work on my channel that way. But when I did that, it really hurt my channel. The algorithm hated me. So I was getting less views and subscribers and all that. That was around October and then they came out with a new algorithm which hurt my channel even further. But yeah, when it comes to Dying Light, don't worry, I'm not quitting. You don't need to ask me why I'm not posting Dying Light because you have your answer. Dying Light's old. I only play it every other couple weeks or so, you know, and that's just because somebody talks me into it. But yeah, guys, now Outlast is going to be fun. Give it a chance, you know, show your love and support like you've shown me for Dying Light. Last thing I wanted to talk to you about is the community montage. A lot of people are wondering where are the community montages and I know it's May and I have a lot more I wanted to make before the year ends because at the end of the year I want to combine all the community montages you know and make it the best kills of 2017 so um, right now um, you know it's really hard to find a song for I have to find the right song um, in the first community montage not the channel trailer of course I'm talking about the one where I didn't use a very good song that's an example of me finding a song I thought people might like because it kind of sounded like dying light music or something but it really wasn't that good now that i look back on it i got this suggestion from one of my friends that i should make a better montage and i did that for the second montage and it did a lot better so i'm gonna find a good song and it takes time to do this i'm gonna do this the same way i like to draw i'm actually a really good artist when it comes to doing portraits 
for people right now you can see a couple examples of that from my portfolio so I really enjoy being creative that's why I do this you know YouTube is actually fulfilling that need of creativity that I have so uh, yeah it's gonna be coming out soon um, but there's a little bit of nasty business I want to take care of first because there is somebody in the community that is trying to put the idea in people's heads that they came up with the idea of community montages first which is destroying the entire idea right now in the community uh, the community montage is being treated very well I've seen youtubers that I've known of for a while like blazy bit even uh, Spinoza is gonna make a community montage and these are people I think that get it you know and this person that is trying to give people these ideas he's he he didn't come out of nowhere with this he was already screwing with me in certain ways he has attacked people he has ripped off people's content on YouTube and since you know there is no YouTube police or anything it's up to people like us normal regular people to take care of bullies and assholes that want to just push people around and use people's heads as stepping stones for them to rise up and um, he won't leave me alone and I got to deal with him and I'm sure you'll understand once I show you the video now that we've gotten all the business out of the way let's get to the video at hand in the background I'm opening up these dockets and I'm on level three uh, well I'm on level five right now I started at three and I'm getting the same weapons over and over again so let's just uh, get through this okay I got myself a delicious bowl of cereal here I'm gonna be eating while we open these up so let's get to it Mmm. Military shovel. I thought about using that actually. You know, as a regular weapon, kind of like how I use the baton, but um, ever since I found the premium Warrior Kopesh, I can't move on from that. So I'm going to keep using that premium Warrior Kopesh. I'm not going to try to be different in any other way. Mmm. I bit my tongue. Now that I'm finished with my delicious bowl of cereal, let's go ahead and continue opening these dockets. Fast forward a second. There, I'm done with this level. We are finished with level 5. Let's move on to level 6 and let's start opening dockets. As you can see, the lower the level, the smaller the variety of weapons you actually get from the dockets. So let's go ahead and start opening these bad boys and see what we get. First, we got a short gator knife that's, uh, I don't give a shit about that weapon at all. Heavy stamping sledgehammer. Okay, that's a heavy weapon. Uh, we already got that weapon, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward. Heavy hewing axe, haven't seen that yet. That's brand new. Hook blade, cool, cool. Let's fast forward because I already got these weapons and we do not need to watch me open them again. Let's see, we got a crew pick that's new. Now, that's the rest of the weapons that I actually found at level six. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward. You can see me try to get something different, but it just doesn't happen. For the future videos that I'm gonna be doing for opening dockets on certain survival levels, I'm going to do this. I'm gonna fast forward through all the weapons that we've already received because as I'm opening the dockets, especially at the higher levels, Sometimes I'll get like 20 different weapons at a certain level and, you know, it will take me a lot of tries just to get one different weapon. So I'm going to be fast forwarding a lot through those videos. Sometimes those videos can be 45 minutes long. The last one I actually recorded was about 45 minutes long. But I'm done with level 6, so I just gave up there. But let's go ahead and go over all the weapons I've found. Weapons received, starting at survival level 3, I got a monkey wrench, short simple knife, and the claw hammer. At survival level 4, I got the classic baseball bat and an exquisite short knife. Survival level 5, military shovel, short fisherman's knife, and plane hammer. At survival level 6, I got the short gator knife, heavy stamping sledgehammer, heavy hewing axe, hook blade, and the crew pick. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I went ahead and went through several levels. In future videos, like I said, it provides more variety uh, the higher your survival level is. So I'll be 
you know, doing longer videos, and so I'm not going to be going through as many levels. I don't know how many videos this series is going to be yet, because I'm just going to play by ear. Depending on how many different weapons I get at certain levels, I will probably combine, like, two or three levels within one video like I did here. Since we're in the very beginning, not many favorites, I don't think, when it comes to weapons have shown up yet. But as we keep going, I'm sure people are going to start getting excited when they see their favorite weapon but that's it for you guys that's all i have to show you that's the news that i want to give you i'll be playing you know uh, outlast 2 and i'm also going to be playing dying light well not playing dying light it's not going to be gameplay they're going to be you know how to videos tutorials on what to do in dying light probably these openings because i've been working on this for a long time now and i'm just beginning to put them on my channel so i hope that was helpful I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.